How's it going guys? It's Country Tactical here with Corbin and today we're going to be trying to make the World War II US uniform from Amazon for under $100. A lot of you guys have been requesting a uniform from Amazon and now we finally made one so keep leaving down suggestions so we know what to do next. Anyways I was excited to do this uniform because it's from Amazon so that means pretty much anyone in the world can order from Amazon and they can get similar stuff. We're just gonna have to see how it turns out. Another thing is if you're like a younger kid and you really want to get into reenacting but you would just simply grow out of a uniform in a matter of months you can start with this this and slowly get more accurate gear as you age and when you think you're finally grown you can go ahead and order a real reenactment uniform and actually attend real reenactments. so it's kind of like a starter thing now that doesn't mean this uniform can be used for actual reenactments this uniform can only be used for Halloween airsoft or school presentations not real reenactments and with that out of the way let's go see what we can find on Amazon let's see how's it going guys we're on my computer I kind of have like a wanky setup I have like a mic right here my DSLR right here and I have OBS recording right now and we're gonna be trying to make a World War II American uniform from Amazon for under hundred dollars so we're gonna have to see how this goes also I got my good old Brody helmet on I just felt like wearing it now we're also gonna be looking for everything Amazon Prime and that is because because it's October 21st and Halloween is just right around the corner. We have to get this stuff shipped in quick. But yeah, let's go ahead and try to find our first item. We're gonna start with some boots. Now, I have not done any research into this. I'm literally, this is the first time I'm going to Amazon to try to assemble something. So it may take a while. I probably should have done some research into this, but let's just, let's just go ahead and jump into something. The main thing we're gonna want is the correct colors and something that can just, just enough resemble uh, the uniform. I'm gonna type in boots. Okay. Well, some of these are pretty expensive. I'm going to I'm going to type in World War 2 boots. These actually look pretty cool, but they are pretty costly, coming in at $40. You know, the thing is they actually do sell some legit repros on Amazon, but we have a $100 budget, so we can't really do that. Can I do a price filter <laughs> under $25? I'm clicking that. We need it. Fits most children. I don't know if this will work. Ooh, look at this one. This one is adult. This might actually work. Cause look at this guy, he's just, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this to a list and it's going to be World War II American. So that's the first thing on the list. So we got the helmet done. Let's try to find the boots again. Cheap boots, under $25. Hey, we might actually get Chelsea boots because you can fit gators around them. It's Chelsea boots. We might get them, man. I would love some brown Chelsea boots because they could actually work. Ah, oh, it's women's. Come on. Men's. Yes. Boots for $23. And they're prime shipping. Size. Well, what? These are big, but they are $22. These kind of look like World War II boots because we're not going to see the top of them. We're going to be seeing the, you know, bottom part. 11.5 is massive though. I'm just going to go ahead and add this to the list. Okay, let me check that helmet. Is it prime? Please be prime. Yes. It is prime. The helmet is prime. That's good. So I got these. If I find a better boot, I'll change it out. But so far, this is all we have. We're getting close to $40. We need to go ahead and find gaiters, pants, tunic, and like a waist belt. Mm, this is getting expensive. There's those uh, sweatpants at Walmart that we made the Spanish American War uniform out of. Dude, I need something cheap. Look at these. Look at these. Okay, let's not try that. I'm going to get a large. I'm getting actually an extra large because we want that bagginess. The Austro-Hungarian uniform that we made the bagginess really just made it that good these have good reviews they're prime world war ii american now up for the tunic one of the coolest pieces in any uniform ever so we want a good one i'm gonna look up world war ii tunic that looks pretty cool and it's 40 dollars though <laughs> A bit costly. Hey, this is what you need right here. I mean, you could get this. The thing about costume fabrics like this one, they're usually really cheap. It probably just wouldn't last as well. And you get to tailor your stuff with Amazon clothes. Man, I'm gonna look at this. This is really cool looking. So I kind of want the lighter. I want this color. If I can get this color, holy crap, that looks cool. This is actually like strong because this could last, you know, a lot of time. Okay, this is what we're kind of trying to recreate. This is the picture I have in the head. See, this Rothko, it just looks really cool. Let me check a size. Small. Oh, it's 36. I'm gonna add this to the World War II American. So far, we got 36 plus 15 plus 22 plus. Dude, we're like right at the, we're about to break $100. We need a belt and gaiters next. 
see these are just too expensive I can't I can't use this it's gonna it's gonna break the budget that like the actual reproductions if I got those I would break the budget so there's another idea that I have long tan socks god they're expensive come on I, I don't want to pay more than six dollars for these come on Wait a minute, these? Ah, oh, they're not prime, look at that. Gah. Taking a break on looking for the gators, now I'm kinda looking for a belt, cause we're gonna have to compromise, which sucks, cause we're getting really expensive, and I don't wanna break 100 bucks. This will get kind of the look for a waist belt. If I were you, I would probably try to get an actual pistol belt because they're like $30. But this one's just $9, so it'll be good. Let's see if we can get like $8. Let's see what the cheapest we can get. This is prime. Let's check that out. It's 1.5 inches wide. I'm gonna get this one. It looks pretty cool. Okay, World War II American. Now we need long socks. Tan socks. Please be some cheap. These, these might work for gators. What's 10 to 13? Oh, that's shoe size. Dollars, what is the large? I like the large size, it's even cheaper. Oh no, it's not prime though. I guess we're just gonna have to go with these and see how they turn out. Let's do a price check. I'm gonna add up each of these and see if we have to take off something. Ugh, we're barely over. We're $103. We're like 103, come on though. Cut me some slack. But we're gonna go ahead and order this and see how it turns out. Let me go ahead and add them all a cart. Uh, let's check our cart now. We got six items. So we had the tunic. I got a medium, a bit larger, so I can get a little bit of that extra length. We got the socks that are gonna work for the gaiters. We got the waist belt. It's just the cheapest thing we get. I recommend spending a little bit extra money to get an actual pistol belt reproduction. We have these blue joggers, XLs, to add that bagginess. We got these cheap Chelsea's. They look kind of like World War II boots, as long as we put on the gaiters. And then we got this cheap little helmet. As you see, 103 bucks, a little bit costly but this should be good and everything is prime. So I should get this before Halloween and I could be able to upload the video. Bam, it's ordered. So I'll see you guys in a few days when this all ships to my house. I'll have to unbox it and test it out. See if I made a cheap Amazon uniform. See you guys later. So I got Corbin here and we also got the freaking Amazon packages. They arrived like two or three days later, but we're ready to go ahead and try it on and see how well the uh, Amazon uniform has turned out. Go ahead and get that bolo knife there and open her up. This is like Christmas. Trusty bolo. Okay. Socks, yes! yes. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna use for the gators, like we did in the Spanish American War uniform. So far the socks seem all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit them down right here. Now what is this? It's a nice package. Maybe it is shoe. Wow, Amazon's nice. They decided to package the socks with the shoes. So this is a big shoe. This is the smallest they had. It looks kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no. gosh! That is pretty big. <laughs> Dude, this is... Here's the tunic I really wanted. Oh! Very precise. Yes! Bang. Pop one. <gasps> the helmet! We got the canvas pistol belt. It's not really a pistol belt, but it's a cool looking belt. South Pole, that looks like a good name brand. I guess let's go ahead and unpackage all the plastic right here. Are they too big? You got XL. I got XL for the bagginess. Let's open up this M1. Ooh, quality, right? Wow, <laughs> I, li I love the liner in it. That's pretty big. <laughs> it is. It's all right. It's still weird. Like, it reminds me of a TF2. So yeah, it's too. Like, loaded. <laughs> this belt looks quality. I don't know. How does it feel? Like canvas. Oh. Okay. Gold. We got everything outside. We're about to put it on, but we're going to go ahead and look at all the prices again. This was like $10, I think right at 20. This was like a $40 jacket. The belt was like $8. The socks were like $8. I think the sweatpants were either $8 or $15. But yeah, let's go ahead and put it on and see how it looks. We're putting on <laughs> sweatpants and they're massive. Look at that. Look at all that room. <laughs> you can fit two of yourselves in there. But the reason we got so big is so we'll have the bagginess like we did in the Austro-Hungarian. Yeah, I, I like guess fly with these, bro. It's like a wingsuit. <laughs> yeah. Those are massive as well. Gosh, dude. Like half of it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> My toe is right there. <laughs> <laughs> we should have found smaller boots. 
You got clown shoes on. Oh my god. Dude, I need to give those to Maverick. He could wear those probably. We got the socks. They are quite long, which is good. And we're going to try to make the World War II gator. We're going to make it how we did the Spanish American War uniform. The first thing we're going to do is cut out a little piece of the heel. It's a little section because we don't want it too big. And we want to make it quite rounded. That should be one gator. Three. Okay. I really hope so. these socks don't rip from your massive clown shoes. <laughs> yeah, remember to stuff these extra fabric in so it'll make the gator look thicker. First gator going on. Oh gosh, <laughs> I really have. Oh man, let's see. The leather helps it can like smooth. Since the leather's smooth, it's oh, looking on quite nice. <laughs> so close. Yes, another victory. There we go. Yay, we got it on. Pull it up, let's see how it looks. Wow. Hey, we got a gator on. It looks like it's an all leather shoe because it covers up that little dark spot. That looks quite good. I like the tallness of the socks. They were a lot taller than the Spanish American War socks that we had. I'm surprised because I really cheaped out on the socks. Now next up is the tunic. Just unbuttoning. Describe the quality for me. It feels robust. It feels tough. Ooh, I like the colors. Okay. <laughs> you look like you're four feet tall. <laughs> Rothko battle dress uniform. Mill spec battle dress. Personnel looking for tough tactical uniforms. Oh, it's one of those weird buttons. Yeah, we're... it's like the late war German tunic. It's like, yeah, protects the buttons. See, it just goes in there, and then this layer of fabric protects the button. Okay. Wow, besides the big old clown shoes, it looks good. Next up is the belt. We're going to attempt to tailor this because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. I would say that's pretty good. Pulling up this on. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was pretty good. Surprised and impressed. It looks nice. Throw that on. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Moment of truth. Everything else felt pretty decent. And this is just. <laughs> best super quality you can tell by oh, yeah. Nikki Biggs really <laughs> Nikki Biggs <laughs> Wow he looks great Wow looking like a true World War II soldier Jeff Bezos approved Jeff Bezos. turned out a lot better than I thought so we're gonna go out there and shoot some guns and take a better look at it stay tuned looks like he's ready to go fight in Normandy he got his trusty M1 carbine ready to take on the Germans overall I think it looks really good I'm quite impressed I mean for a hundred bucks from Amazon you get a really good tunic just get smaller shoes that actually fit you and a better helmet and this could last you know playing with your friends for airsoft and other stuff or it'd be great for Halloween I mean I really like it let's go ahead and get some shots off at that freaking German couch Shoe, bro. <laughs> Look at that. your ankle's broken. <laughs> we need a medic on him right now. Whoa, he got his trusty nickel plated 1911 out. Totally not stainless steel, but the Germans are getting closer. Go ahead and take care of him with good old Uncle Sam's pistol. Oh, man. Use this to cover your ear. <laughs> that'll, work. that'll work. Hey! Oh, gosh. The Germans. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I think you took care of them. Come on, get them, get them! <laughs> oh, they're still alive. We need to show them more. But first, remember to like the video. Could we get 1942 likes? And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Check out the merch. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and teach some Germans a lesson. Show them the American spirit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.